So guys, so oh my god, just hello. Uh, my name is Nihad, and as you know, I'm a kind of <laughs> so. Uh, let me just explain a little, little kind of a story, which was problematic from my point of view. Uh, recently, some weeks ago, I bought a new Arduino Mega in eBay. So plus they send me as I buy, uh, bow. They send me a Bluetooth model for serial connection, and this all two items was very inevitable part of my project. So I developed some kind of uh, Bluetooth connection, and by this way I would like to, uh, I plan to uh, control some electrical devices. So. Uh, and I watched uh, the YouTube videos about how to connect the ser uh, serial port and Bluetooth uh, the item part of uh, Arduino Mega. So they advised to. Uh, there was a guide to, which advised that to connect some resistivity in Bluetooth model. So let me just show this item to you. So this is my two items, Arduino Mega. There was our Bluetooth model. So let me just let me just explain it by the way. Let me focus first. Yes, uh, there's as we see there is an uh, T TXT and RXT. It's transmitter and receiver. Uh, the guy advised to connect to transmit uh, receiver module. Uh, some parallel, uh, some parallel kind of. Let me just draw it for you. I advise it to connect some kind of resistivity here. R R. I really forget the values of resistivity. And we have a ground here and some another resistivity to the ground. I did the same thing. By this way, just all this happened. I did the same way, but it works. It really works and was everything is good. But there was a problem that my Bluetooth model sent to my Android application wrong codes. In some cases, the symbols which I wasn't able to recognize. So I come up with an idea that why we have to use this resistivity here if a production company didn't include it. So I erased this all recently, two days ago, and finally uh, determined that this is the safe way to utilize this one. There is no need to connect resistivity, exactly no need to connect resistivity. So I uh, created this um, kind of connection, Just it's not just invention. Uh, so simply I connect our Bluetooth model to here. Let me just connect it. So, and this is our Bluetooth model and we have here an, uh, let me just say, it's a gas sensor, I guess, and here I utilizes some temperature resistivity, thermal resistivity and when I connect my module so all my devices works fine except Bluetooth model because I guess I connect the wrong way so let me just change the direction okay it works it really works so I have no connection here that's why it blinks so periodically and it works and sends uh, the code from my analog port which is here from gas sensor and from temperature sensors to my Bluetooth uh, Android application and says all codes uh, to the right way there's no faults no unknown symbols so this is the basically the pr uh, problem was well, the problematic for me and I solved and I hope that if you watch this video and never try to connect some parallel and serious resistivities here because it is an advised way. So thank you very much for watching.